right, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we are going to be making a uh, web browsing slash media PC, uh, and we're going to be doing it in this rather interesting um, Antec case here. This is the ISK 300-150, uh, and it's pretty neat, pretty compact, uh, so that'll be pretty cool to see how that comes out. Um, as far as what parts we'll be using, uh, the heart of our system is going to be a AMD uh, 3200G. Uh, it's a quad core with integrated graphics, so that'll be pretty nice. Uh, we'll have our mini ITX board here, uh, 8 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig M.2 SSD, and a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, and we'll also have a uh, disk drive to throw in there as well. Uh, so with that, let's get to the build. All right, so I think we'll begin by putting on the case feet, so that way uh, we're less likely to scratch up the paint here. And we want to make sure that it's far enough up that it doesn't interfere with the uh, case here. So that should make it a bit nicer to set down with feet on it. So we'll just set the stand to the side for the time being. So, the case comes apart, just has three thumb screws on the back. So, we have the drive caddy here. Okay, so I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, install the two uh, new Arctic fans here. Um, to do that, we'll have to pull out the power supply. There we go. A little tricky to get that one out. One thing I will note is even though this is a rather unique looking power supply, uh, I believe that the mounting pattern here uh, should fit just a, um, a flex ATX PSU, so you should be able to mount it to the sled, though you will need to figure out uh, a way to route the power cable to the back. These are Arctic P8 80 uh, millimeter fans here. So both of these fans uh, will be exhausting air from the case. That's how I've had that set up. Nice looking motherboard.
so I have one little unusual plan here. Uh, since M.2s tend to get pretty warm, and uh, especially when they're on the back of motherboards, I have these uh, thermal pads here, uh, and, my, and I'm going to attempt to use the motherboard tray uh, to dissipate some of the heat, keep it cool. It's probably fine on its own, but having it a little cooler is uh, always good. So I have another motherboard standoff here, which I shall uh, use as reference. I'll try and figure out how many uh, these things will be needed. I'm thinking uh, two of them here. Yeah, I think that should do it. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, so that looks about right. Let's set it in there and see how well it fits. It's a rather tight fit. I think I might uh, replace it with a thinner one. Okay, I think that's going to work. That's a, that's a good fit. I can feel it, it grabs on. So that's good, that's good. That should work out pretty good to dissipate heat from that SSD. Okay, so our power supply only has a uh, four pin. So I have this four pin to eight pin adapter here. Alright, so I've mostly tried to keep the PCIe slot here. Uh, I do think it would be possible to put in like a uh, you know, a little half-height uh, graphics card here, but uh, I don't really foresee that happening with, that, with this system. But, uh, yeah.
so there we go. We have uh, have it together just about. Uh, lift it up here. Got that. See, there's the uh, all the fans there, all exhausting it. We flip it around here, and we have all the cables just kind of crammed in there. Not really a whole lot of room. As I said, I still think you could get a PCIe card in there if you really wanted to, but um, we're not putting any in this one, so. So I guess get the case back on and see if it starts up. And so with that, uh, we've completed the build. Uh, it came out pretty nice. This is a very compact case, and it is uh, pretty impressive uh, you know, how well packed together it is. Um, turning it on, this thing is dead silent, so that's nice. Um, you know, being just like a media web PC, we're not going to do anything too crazy with the settings, but um, I may still throw up some performance graphs at the end here. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching.